You know, I have a question. Why did nobody ever talk about this weapon on any guy that I've seen on YouTube? Legit, this is the best 3-star weapon ever that I found while playing Genshin Impact. Now while we're waiting for the story quest to update, because currently right now I am Adventure Rank 24 and the and the acquired rank for me to do the story quest was Adventure Rank 29. So that's still five more levels to go. In the meantime, I got several short videos for you guys that I really want to show you off. One of them is this one. Now, what I'm talking about earlier is this weapon, the fillet blade. Why did nobody ever tell me about this? Nobody talk about this blade. So I got this blade when I've done the... I forgot about the quest already, but it was a quest where you need to activate the ruins. The quest giver was Soraya. So the fillet blade is a sword, a one-handed sword. Refinement rank number one, obviously maxed out. Refinement rank one with a base attack of 169 and attack of 19.7%. Now it has a special skill called Gash. On hit, has a 50% chance to deal 240% damage to a single enemy. It can only occur every once every 15 seconds. Now you might think that this is a bad sword because it has a 50% chance to deal 240% damage to a single enemy but only occurs once every 15 seconds. That might be bad but if you think it closely, you can deal massive damage to an enemy. You know what? It's better to just show you guys instead of talking it. So let's find some enemies. We're at Storm Terror Slayer because this place has a lot of high level enemy. We found some level 33 enemy. Alright, I'm gonna creep up just behind it. And I'm gonna surprise attack and bam, bam, boom. Oh, that 1k damage. Holy crap. This weapon is crazy. If you have the right amount of artifact, this weapon is crazy strong. It does have a drawback however, like it, the the 240% attack damage only occurs if once every 15 seconds. So it's a bit of a drawback but if you attack it at the right moment, it could deal a massive amount of damage to enemy. And that's already enough because in a place where, in an area where you need a lot of damage to clear a lot of enemy faster, I mean a single enemy faster. This is really good. Now, artifact does play a role in your character's weapon. If you have high ranking artifact, then the weapon will surely become powerful. So, I don't, I don't recommend you guys following me, but I usually equip my main main attacker with Berserker Rose for the health. For the feather, I equip it with the Berserker Indigo Feather. For the timepiece, I equip the Berserker set as well. Only the glass one, I equip it with the Goblet of Sojourner because it gave me physical bonus damage. And lastly, the mask, the crown one, I equip it with a 5 star Berserker battle damage. But that is what I thought. I don't know what you guys will think about all of this. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I would love to see you guys' opinion. But yeah, that is it. I just want to talk about this blade that I just found and so far blow my mind out of it from the four, four star weapon that i've got that is it for me for today hope you guys enjoy your day stay awesome